Well, today is a very special day. We are stocking another ranch here in Texas with some deer. Now that's a special day because of the deer leaving the ranch going to another place. It's been a wonderful thing because we've been able to watch them grow up. My name is Chris Metner. I'm here at Triple J Ranch to pick up a group of bucks to set loose on a pasture for a customer of mine to improve the genetic quality of the herd on his ranch. The reason that we're releasing these bucks on this ranch are to improve the genetic quality of the herd. This is by far the fastest way to improve the genetic quality of the herd on the ranch is to introduce superior genetic animals. We need to go round these bucks up. Let's go. All right, this is a perfect day to do this. It's early in the morning. Uh, the weather's still kind of cool. It's gonna get warmer later on the day, but here at the Triple J, they've got a big barn and the barn is air conditioned. And what's going on right now, Chris is gonna go round up the deer. He's gonna take uh, uh, some time, go down in the big pen that they've been held in, and he's gonna run them up the lane and get them up in the barn. All right, so this morning we went down and we got the bucks brought them up here. We brought them up that long lane and we ran them really fast, but it always works better when I bring them fast. That it doesn't give them time to hunt a hole. Just like when we were growing up working cattle. And bring them up here fast, shut the door on them, get them in the barn safe and sound. There's several reasons we run them down that long lane with all those curves in it. Every time they come around a curve, they get away from you. They feel safer, so they move easier. Brings them right into the barn safe and sound. These are three-year-old bucks. They are great bucks. They're gonna make great pasture bucks for the next owner. He's gonna be able to use them and improve his genetics on his farm. These aren't the kind of bucks that we want to breed here at Triple J. That's the way we work deer at Triple J. All right, the deer are loaded up in the barn and they're sorted out in groups of four to five bucks per little stall. The stalls are really dark, the barn's dark. And the reason why is the darker it is, the more calm the deer remain. Uh, you'll notice that there are red lights in the barn and the reason that there are red lights in the barn is because that's to help us really be able to see the deer handlers. Uh, the red light doesn't seem to bother the deer as much as the bright lights. And so what we wind up doing to get in there and work them, we wind up using the red lights just for us to be able to see. You notice that all these bucks still have the ear tags left in them. We're going to leave them in there so the next ranch can tell the genetics and watch these bucks grow through the years. All right, what's going on here is that they are running every one of these deer through the handler. And what they're doing is the deer already have uh, ear tags in their ears, so, and those ear tags have unique numbers in them. Before a deer can be moved legally in the state of Texas and taken out of a breeder facility, they have to have a tattoo in their ear and it's a permanent tattoo. And so what they're doing, they're actually running the deer through, they're putting a tattoo in their ear that has a unique number on it. And uh, they're actually opening it up and taking some pictures, photographing every one of these bucks. And what Becca's doing over here, she's just taking down data. And in deer management, especially when you're dealing with breeder deer, deer farms have to have a lot of good data. So that she's writing down all this information that we'll then put it in a computer program later. But right now, every one of the bucks that Chris is picking up outside in that trailer is going through the system to make sure they're all legally done. So, I mean, it's a pretty cool deal going on right there. As far as the shots you see them giving, giving them a little something to kind of calm them down when they get in the trailer. It just, uh, it just settles them down a little bit. And again, calm deer or good deer. And so they give them a little shot to help calm them down. It helps them on that transition from the Triple J to their final destination. All right, we have five loaded in the trailer. We have 20 more to work. Everything's going wonderful. Very low stress working. Give them antibiotic for stress for the travel. Everything's going great. The reason I deal with Triple J Ranch is because they understand customer quality and uh, customer service. The other thing that I look at heavily is the herd health. These animals are very healthy and you're fighting an uphill battle if you introduce animals onto your ranch that have poor health. The third thing that I look at is the way that they handle these animals in their working facility. It's a very low stress environment. We're fixing to load out these deer onto the trailer. We're gonna release them on the ranch here shortly. They will live the rest of their life on this ranch, improving the genetic quality of the ranch. All right, what's going on here, this is an air conditioned trailer, air conditioned. Uh, the key to doing all this is uh, keeping the deer as calm as can be and uh, reducing the stress on them. That's the reason why when they go inside the red light, they just, they just calm down and just the less stress, the better on any deer. What's happening, we've got a camera inside this trailer and Chris is inside the trailer too. When the first batch come in, what he's gonna do, he's gonna close the door and put them in one compartment. Again, it's an air conditioned trailer. 
is to make them uh, where they have less stress on them and they will be hauled to their ranch that they're going to live on the rest of their life in this air conditioned trailer. So there's a bunch of deer to move today and this is something that I don't think has ever been done on TV before. And uh, this is what goes, it's, a, it's actually a common occurrence this time of year in late August right here at the Triple J Ranch and other ranches all over the country. But this is a pretty neat deal. It went really well, but it always goes well the way I do it. All right, Becca is finishing up the paperwork now. Uh, they're running the last load right down through the alleyway and up in the trailer. I want to point out that reducing the stress on white-tailed deer is going to keep them healthier longer. All right, they're running up into an air-conditioned trailer. They're nice and calm. She's finishing up the paperwork, and soon they're going to be ready to go.